All right. Mm, the good professor's secret lab won't be so secret from me after I add it to my GSPTK. Nice abbreviation. Let's put it. Uh, let's put it here. The secret lab. Whoa. Freeze, scumbag! <laughs> Put down the science and get up against the wall! Hey, hey, hey! Come on now, just everybody relax! We're here for a favor! Uh, Ronaldo, your eyes look a little... off. You gotta be more careful, Ronaldo! These things could have punctured your mouth! Like, seriously off, like, what the heck is time. going on with your eyes? Oh, Sorry, you know, strong you bad. Can squeeze my head to tell if I'm fresh. I did not need to know that. I'm telling you, somebody didn't uh, test this PS3 port enough. Anyway, Doctor Experimento. Formula. So you're some kind of expert on formulas now, huh? Okay, Mister, you can't take a plastic bag full of scorpions into space. What's it gonna take to get you to recreate this top secret formula for me? Somebody stole a disk of important launch codes for your rocket and you want me <coughs> to get them back? That sounds fair. You get me my formula and I'll find your disk. What is it? What's going on? Ronaldo, what is he bubbling about? It's ingredients. He's figuring out what he needs to make the formula. A bubbly liquid, a flower from the rare stick and knee tree, and some yellow hair? Nice hmm. job. Looks like we'll be scouring the streets of Brain Blow City tonight. Now, believe it or not, we actually already have the bubbly drink. We just need the stick and knee flower and some yellow hair. What is this? Ah, the pioneers of space travel. Lovingly commemorated here in the pages of this official <laughs> spaceflight document. These brave astronauts are an inspiration to us all. That is one of the collectibles in this game. That is the manual that you are trying to collect. So, uh, I can't believe Brain anyway. Rose City isn't the default location in my travel log. I better add it now. Let's do it above the uh, the HQ, the office. So let's go to Brainbloof City, which Brain in reality Blow is just the uh, cardboard. As as steel and twice as gray. She's like a fine lady type. Treat her right, and she'll make you cupcakes shaped like cold ones. But treat her wrong, and she'll kick you in the knees, step on your face with a stiletto heel, take your wallet, and totally ruin your credit score. Yeah, your woman scares me. I'll just wait here by the wall where it's safe. You go on ahead. All right. So this is pretty much the, the traditional sort of open um, area. So we've got a stick in here and oh, hello. This must be the rare stick and knee flower that Professor Experimento needs for the formula. I'll just carefully remove this last delicate blossom. There we go. That's uh, another ingredient collected. Oh, we've got a, a shark pond. And uh, we'll go back to that shark pond in a second. Uh, there's a box. I can't quite reach it. Nope. That's way too thick for this. Yeah. I have no idea how to get that box down. We've got the cool, cool, cool car. And that's the, the city limit. So what we actually need to do is, uh, you may remember I picked up the plant from cutesy buttons earlier. Well, we need to put the plant in the shark pond. Okay, stupid plant. Can you swim? Because you're about to get watered. Yeah! Sorry, I had to make that joke. Anyway, now we need to, as you see, that our uh, map is getting a bit more full up, filled up. Um, we need to head back to the office because we need to so uh, 
gets some yellow hair, and there's only one person who has yellow hair. Now, you can try and cut her hair now, but she'll just say no, you're not, you're not touching my hair. So what you need to do is you need to distract her. So we need to... I don't think talk to her. Oh, there's an outside of this office? Man, these blinds have been blinding me from seeing the city at large. Hey, mind if I grab a chunk of your hair? I most certainly do. It's taken me all summer to grow my hair out, and there is no way I'm cutting it off for you. <laughs> that special tree saving formula. There wouldn't happen to be any more somewhere else, would there? This is the very last sample in existence. That's why it's imperative that nothing happens to it. Of course. So I'll just go right out and get it for you then. Sit tight, babe. Danger Ask is on the job. Hmm. How? Let's just do it anyway. Hold still. You've got a little something right on the side there. Oh, what are you doing, you animal? Stay away from my hair with those things. Marzipan, I'm supposed to get some of your hair in this scene. I told you I won't let you cut my hair for this movie. Come on, you're ruining the shot. I don't care. Actresses. <laughs> window, here we go. Buttons. Why don't you take a look out the window? Shouldn't you be out getting my formula instead of hanging around the office? No, seriously, Marzipan. I think you should look out <laughs> the window. Aye, Credenza, what have they done to you? Hang in there, little one. Oh, that's just mean. <laughs> and now, get we cut the hair. There right. we go. You go get Credenza right now, or I'll. You'll what? I rescued a from those bloodthirsty sharks. Or leaf thirsty. Thank you, Dangerous. Now, I think you should keep looking for that formula. Yeah, it's safer out there with the sharks anyway. Damn. That must hurt. Because it's seriously, you know, in your hair and every head and everything. Anyway, we have the bubbly drink, the fancy flower, and the yellow hair. Let's head on over to the secret lab and give these ingredients to uh, Bubbly Boop, Dr. Experimento. Hey, look at that. I happen to have a carbonated liquid right here. Man, I'm good. I know it looks delicious, but it tastes more like one of Ronaldo's old gym socks. And trust me, you do not want to know how I became familiar with that <laughs> particular taste Ugh. sensation. Okay, you got your bubbly drink. Now make with the formula make. Ing. Still wants the other ingredients, so let's give him the fancy Here flour. <clears throat> a one of a kind biogenetic miracle flour with the potential to eliminate sickness and disease from the surface of the planet forever and ever. Now grind it into a goopy paste so I can take it back to some nerdy dame and get myself pay. And the yellow hair. Okay, here you go. But man, you know what I had to go through to snip off Blondie's hair? Man, wait. So, uh, how's that formula coming there? There we go. I think you could just barely see the, the, the formula. <laughs> he had it in his hand. There it is! The formula! He's done it, Danger -esque. You're okay, Experimento. Me and you, we's cool. Let's get this crap back to cutesy buttons. To the dangerous cave. I mean, office. To my office. So, uh, let's head back to the office. And, uh... Well, Dollface, it was a dangerous and difficult mission. But after narrowly dodging herds of bullets, hordes of henchmen, and hordes of punches, I was able to recover your formula, and I didn't even break it and was forced to recreate it in a scientific lab even once. Ahem. Oh, oh, sorry. Oh my gosh, she's gone! <gasps> but where did she go? 
You don't think? No time for that now. Cutesy Buttons is in trouble. There's got to be a clue somewhere around this office. My God. <laughs> Seriously, strong bad. Come on. We're not idiots. Okay, now. Oh. Evil, right? Okay. Hello, JJ. <laughs> I love the cheats, right? Cutesy buttons. I also know that you have the formula for the weight for us. Well, I can't let that happen. So here is my list of demands. First, you bring me the formula so I can destroy it. I also want access to the world's weapon stockpile. And I want a billion dollars in pesos. Who is a pony? Like the kind with wings and rainbows? And, uh, can I get a large melody? Who was that guy? I don't know, Ronaldo. He seemed awfully familiar. Oh well, I'll start gathering up his demands. I think I know where I can get a used pony cheap. No way, Ronaldo. Dangerous doesn't give in to the demands of terrorists. We're gonna get back cutesy buttons my way. By finding his hideout and breaking into his hideout. Who do you know that can help us? Well, there is one person. But you're not gonna like it. It's your former enemy, Baron Darren Diamonical. Oh man, I hate that guy. Once he made me eat a whole bag of stale three month old moldy ranch flavored potato chips. Ranch flavored. So I framed him for endangered puppy trafficking and the murder of several presidents. He's serving hard time in Brain Blow State Prison now. Wonder if he remembers me. All right, so we need to head to the prison.